e-activity file management in uh, Classpad here. So we'll start in the e-activity and we're going to have a look in this little video how we can kind of rename and do all sorts of things with file, basically uh, organize our files. So to start with, let's make a, um, a, a new e-activity, yeah, that'll do, and save it. So file, save, and rather than save it um, in any folders that exist, let's create a new folder straight away now. We're in the root directory, which is good. If we happen to have been in a folder like main, we tap the up button. There is uh, only one level of folders in Classpad, and the only place that we can create new folders is when we can see root directory in the um, file dialog box here. So we tap on the create new folder, enter a name such as, um, what do we say we're gonna call this folder work? That will do, so we'll call this one work tap OK. And then to enter the folder, we tap a couple of times onto the word work there to actually enter the folder. If we tried to make another folder in here, Classpad complains. We can only make folders when we can see root directory. So now we want to save the new activity. So we'll call the e activity temp. Uh, typing in off the soft keyboard here and we'll tap save and um, although there's nothing in our e-activity we've saved a copy of it. Now for general file management um, we rather than use the file open or save if we simply tap onto the floppy disk icon here it gives us the option to open save or cancel and this is where we can do most of our file management work so uh, let's rename it first off. So we select the file we want to rename and tap onto File, Rename. And uh, let's say we want to call it old. So we'll type in a new file name and say OK. And so there's renaming files, pretty straightforward. Um, suppose we wanted to move it to a different fo uh, folder. So let's select old. And again, if we had more than one, we could select more than one uh, with the tick boxes and choose File, Move this time. And uh, Classpad opens a list of all possible folders. Now we've only got two, we're already in work, so we wanna change it back to Main, which is the any other folder. And uh, we'll say OK. Notice there was an option there to, um, no, there wasn't to copy a folder, so that's OK. Um, so we've actually now you can see we're in the main folder and if we navigate up and back into work you can see there's nothing in this folder anymore so um maybe while we're here if we tap back up if we wanted to delete this folder then we simply tap onto it file delete okay if we want to delete an e-activity we need to find it first so i've come into the main folder here's the one that we uh, didn't want just before we delete it, there's another couple of options under the file. There's lock, which pops a little padlock and stops us overriding uh, this e-activity um, with the contents of anything else. To unlock it, file, unlock. Um, so it's pretty easy doing those kind of things. And finally, let's just tick the box and say, this is the one we want to delete and OK. Once we've finished all our sort of file um, management activities, we just tap on to cancel and we're back into that e-activity. 